So everybody complains that you can't get Pitch Black Mountain Dew anymore, which is 100% true. But at 7-Eleven, they have the Mountain Dew Pitch Black Slurpees. I'm gonna teach you how to turn this into Pitch Black Soda. All right, so we're back home with a Slurpee. Now here's the plan, and I have no idea if it's gonna work, but I'm going to toss this whole thing into this pan over here, and I'm gonna boil it. In theory, when you reduce a cola or anything like that, you can reduce it for about half an hour. It simmers it down into a syrup. We should have a super concentrated pitch black syrup if this goes according to plan. So I'm just gonna dump it all in here. The lady at the gas station, she told me not to boil it. I'm boiling it, I don't know. That's the way I know how to do it. Check this out. Just a few minutes, it's already boiling. Now all we have to do is let this simmer on low for about half an hour. That's it, it's gonna reduce to about a quarter of the size and we're just gonna have a super concentrated pitch black syrup. It's gonna be delicious. I'm like 99,999 repeating percent sure. All right, so now that we've simmered it down into a nice fine syrup, we're just gonna pour it into a container carefully because it is hot. And that is it. Also, let's try it. Okay, it definitely tastes like heavily concentrated pitch black because as you can see, this was a large Slurpee. That's not the case anymore. So now we're gonna let this chill before we pour it on the rocks with some club soda and see if we actually made pitch black syrup. The pitch black has been chilled. Here's what we are left over with after everything's been reduced. It's all good. We didn't get a lot, probably just about three to four ounces in here, which is gonna make you a couple sodas, I'd imagine, but you know, let's, let's quit talking about it. Let's actually try this and see if we can make pitch black at home. All right, so let's start this off strong. Let's do an ounce of pitch black syrup and it's looking beautiful. It's looking like the right color. And let's do club soda now. And I've never measured club soda like this, but for the sake of consistency, let's do it. All right, so there's six ounces of club soda to one ounce of pitch black syrup. Give that a good little stir. It's faint. So we did one ounce in there. One ounce to six ounces of club soda. I'm thinking, so there was about four ounces total in here. Let's add another ounce. I would argue there was more than four ounces. Give it a good stir. That tastes like pitch black. That's for sure a win. But the problem is this was two ounces to six ounces. That's kind of strong. The recipe only yielded about five ounces. Like I said, we drank some of this while we were waiting for it to chill. It, it happens, move past it. It already happened. If you're gonna make this for like a regular, you know, 12 ounce glass of pitch black, you'd wanna do three ounces of syrup and nine ounces of club soda, which actually isn't a terrible ratio. You'd probably get about two glasses if you're reducing a large Slurpee. If you're doing an extra large, I would imagine you get three glasses of uh, pitch black out of that. So that's, that's not bad. I'm definitely calling this a win. Cause think about it this way, right? A 12 pack of Mountain Dew is at least, at least $8. I mean, maybe that's Vegas prices. I've seen it at Smith's, Kroger, whatever you call it for 12. If you spent $12 on Slurpees, boiled them all down and made the syrup, you'd probably get almost I wanna say 20 ounces of syrup. That's gonna last you at least five, six, seven, eight, maybe nine drinks, depending on how strong you want your Mountain Dew. All right, and because I'm super biased, I think this tastes great. Let's, let's get a second opinion. My camera guy is going to try the pitch black. He had it actually, he was here last time before he actually moved to Vegas. Um, I don't know what we were doing. For some reason I had stocked up on pitch black. He came out here just to, you know, take some sick pictures, hang out, film a couple videos. It was almost like a test run. Unofficial audition for Sin City Bartender's camera guy, I guess. So that was the last time we tried Pitch Black Mountain Dew though. He was here, he enjoyed it. Let's see if he thinks this is actually Pitch Black Mountain Dew like I've been ranting about. Ivan? Here we go. I mean, I'm talking it up too. Let's see. It does taste a little watered down. But I get the so what I'm thinking is that, I don't know how many calories are in a full 7-Eleven large Slurpee, but what I'm thinking, cause Mountain Dew in just like a 12 ounce can has like 250. I wanna say a Slurpee is around the same and that's for the large thing. So if you wanted to go stronger, you'd still technically be healthier than a can of Mountain Dew and you get the exact flavor, but then you're just doing a one for one trade just depends if you like carbonation or Slurpees better, I guess at that point. But yeah, that's a win.
camera guy certified. We did it, we have made pitch black at home despite it being off the shelves. It's not expired, it's fresh, it's delicious. It's pitch black Mountain Dew. Thanks for watching guys.